want to talk to you about something that I refer to as proprietary demonic possession. Proprietary means origination, ownership. In some cases, I believe the devil has a copyright of proprietary ownership upon an individual. When we talk about proprietary rights, we usually think of intellectual rights, like, for example, as enshrined in law through productions of the human intellect. It could be a song, it could be a novel, it could be a work of art, or it could be a trade secret or a trademark, a patent or a copyright. Well, the devil has a trademark. His proprietary rights on many forms of the occult, and he will enforce violations. For example, I believe the devil's got a proprietary right on yoga, tai chi, qi gong, enneagrams, acupuncture, energy healing, reiki. The origin is pagan. The origin is occult. That's the original trademark. And if you don't watch it. You'll experience a proprietary possession if you mess around with this stuff. Now, I know what some of you are going to argue. You're going to argue intent. You're going to say, well, that's not what I meant when I got into those posturing positions of yoga, for example. All right, let's use this illustration. Let's suppose you decide you're going to borrow your neighbor's car without asking him. And let's decide that you're using it to go to church. I mean, that's a perfectly good intention, isn't it? Maybe your neighbor doesn't think so. So he calls the cops. The police pull you over. You say, well, look, I'm not stealing the car. That was not my intent. I just needed to drive to church. What do you think's going to happen? You have violated proprietary right. And the cop is going to arrest you for it. You've stolen a car, even though that is what you meant to do. So when we look at things that, for example, are Hindu by design, like yoga, and if the positions are meant to emulate gods or to call upon evil spirits, that's the trademark. That's the copyright. That's Satan's copyright. And you can't infringe upon that. Isaiah 5.20 says, Woe to them who call evil good and good evil. We as Christians need to avoid anything that has Satan's proprietary right because it can lead to demonic possession, and you don't want the devil filing a copyright infringement upon your soul that leads to spiritual bondage. If you'd like to learn more about spiritual warfare, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see all the other ways we can teach you about how to overcome evil in your life. A one-stop place with all the information at your fingertips is our website, boblarson.org. There you can see how to take the free demon test to see if you have a demon. You can also see what books we have available. I recommend if you're looking for one to get started, our book, Curse Breaking. Also, at the website, you can learn how to enroll in our International School of Exorcism and to have your very own virtual one-on-one -on -one spiritual encounter. All these opportunities, by God's grace, we make available to you so that spiritually you can know how to get free, stay free, and live free. Your financial support and prayers make it possible for us to bring hope for the hurting and freedom to those in spiritual bondage. For the latest information regarding ministry outreaches, go to boblarson.org or call 303-980-1511.